Good day, everyone, and welcome to our class. Today, we will be learning a new topic, which is the types of nouns. So, what is a noun? A noun is a word that names something, such as a person, place, thing, or idea. In a sentence, nouns can play the role of subject, direct object, indirect object, subject complement, object complement, a positive, or adjective. But today, in this lesson, we will only focus on the types of nouns. So there are different types of nouns, and these are common nouns, proper nouns, uncountable nouns, uncountable nouns, concrete nouns, abstract nouns, compound nouns, and collective nouns. So let's look at what each type of noun is with examples. We have here the first one, the common nouns. Common nouns used to name people, places, or things in general. It refers to the class or type of person or thing without being specific. So, we have here an examples of common nouns. Doctor, laboratory apparatus, and office. So, these three are examples of the common nouns because as you have noticed, I did not give the specific name. So it's a doctor in general, it's a laboratory apparatus in general, and it's an office in general. Okay, so also let us remember that common noun can be divided into smaller classes, countable and uncountable nouns, as well as concrete and abstract nouns. So we will know these types of nouns later as we go on with our lesson for today. So for now, let's proceed to our second type of noun, which is the proper nouns. Proper nouns are used to name a specific or individual person, place, or thing. Proper nouns begin with a capital letter. We have here an examples. We have Dr. John. Test 2. Office of the President. So, these three are an, an examples of a proper noun because we have here Dr. Jan. Um, Dr. Jan is a specific name of a doctor. Test tube is a specific name of a laboratory apparatus. And the third one, the office of the president, is a specific name of an office. Okay, is it clear? Alright, so let's proceed to our third type of nouns, which is the countable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns that can be counted. Take note, these are nouns that can be counted. It has a singular and a plural form and can be used with a number or with a and or n before it. They are sometimes called count nouns. So let's have an example. We have here country, building, and books. Country is a countable noun because obviously you can count country. You can say one country, two countries, and so on and so forth. Building is also a countable noun because you can count building. You can say one building, two buildings, three buildings, and so on and so forth. Books is a countable noun in a plural form. You will just simply add S to make it plural. Okay? So you can also count books like one book, two books, three books, and so on and so forth. All right. So these three are countable nouns because it is possible to count them. Okay, so now let's have our next type of noun which is the uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are nouns that cannot be counted. Take note, these are nouns that cannot be counted. They often refer to substances, liquids, 
and abstract ideas. They are also called mass nouns. So let's have an examples of uncountable nouns. We have rain, water, and happiness. So rain, you cannot count rain. You do not say one rain or two rains. It is not possible. So rain is uncountable. And also our second example is water. Water is also an uncountable noun because obviously you cannot count water, just like rain. You can say a glass of water, but you're only counting the glass and not the water. Okay, so happiness. Happiness is uncountable also because you cannot count happiness. You cannot say, oh, I have three happiness. No, it's not possible. Okay, so uncountable nouns also refers to substance like paper, coal, wood, also liquids uh, like water and the rain as what I have uh, gave as an example and abstract ideas like happiness uh, also um, time, information, and a lot more okay so let's have our next type of noun which is the concrete nouns concrete nouns sometimes known as material noun uh, it refers to people or things that exist physically take note exist physically and that at least one of the senses can detect you can see you can touch you can hear you can smell and you can taste examples are we have rainbow apple and frog so rainbow is a concrete noun because physically you can see it you can see a rainbow okay apple apple is a concrete noun because you can see you can touch and you can taste it and same as the frog it is a concrete noun because it physically exists you can see it you can touch it and you can even hear frogs right okay so these three are the concrete nouns next we have the abstract nouns abstract nouns have no physical existence take note have no physical existence they refer to ideas emotions and concepts you cannot see you cannot touch you cannot hear you cannot smell you cannot taste examples are we have love luck and fear so abstract nouns by the way is an opposite of the concrete nouns take note of that okay so let's go back let's go back to our examples we have the love love is a feeling so we can attach love we feel love okay the same with fear fear is an emotion we cannot touch or see it and the third one is luck luck is a concept that does not have physical existence so it is also an abstract noun other examples are justice time happiness and a lot more so these are um, an examples of an abstract nouns all right let's have the next one the compound nouns compound nouns are two or more words that create a noun they can be written as one word joined by a hyphen or written as separate words examples are we have toothbrush toothbrush is written as one word no so tooth plus brush toothbrush so it is compound nouns the next one is the jack in the box it is joined by a hyphen and the last example is the bus stop. Bus stop is written as separate words. Okay, 
So, uh, those are an examples of the compound nouns. And we still have some other examples here. Um, rainfall. Rainfall is a compound I mean compound nouns because it is written as one word. We also have the son-in-law. It is written uh, or it is, it is joined by hyphen. And we have the credit card. Credit card which is written separately. Okay, notice how the main stress is normally on the first path of the compound word. Rainfall. Son-in-law. Credit card. Okay, so um, guys, we need to learn which way a compound noun is written. Again, we need to learn which way a compound noun is written. As in, um, the words are joined uh, with a hyphen or written together or written separately. As each compound noun usually has only one form. Okay, so don't forget that. Take note of that and let's have our next example of the type of nouns. We have the collective nouns. Collective nouns refer to a set or a group of people, animals, or things. Take note, a group of people, animals, or things. They are often followed by of plus plural noun. Example, bunch of flowers bunch of flowers all right so let's have um another examples and also don't forget that um collective nouns are the name of a group of things okay so we have here team we also have file and flock so team is a collective noun because it is a group of players or members uh, same with the file. A file is a compilation of a document. And lastly, we have the flock. So this is a group of birds, a flock of birds. So these three are an examples of a collective nouns. Alright, so those are the different types of nouns with an example. Okay, so here is one thing that we should not forget about nouns a noun can belong to more than one type so example toothbrush toothbrush can be a common noun because toothbrush is a general general name of a type of thing also it can be a concrete noun because you can touch and see a toothbrush it is also an example of a countable noun because you can count toothbrush one toothbrush, two toothbrushes, and so on and so forth. And also, toothbrush is a compound noun because it is written as one. Tooth plus brush. Toothbrush. Okay. So, I guess uh, that's all for today. I hope you've learned something from our discussion. Thank you so much and see you next time.